Most of the American people are oblivious to the significance of May 15th. But for Palestinians, it is a day of mass exodus from their homes, lands, and lives. We're here today to commemorate the victims of the ongoing Nakba that's been plaguing the Palestinian people for 65 years. Uh, we wanted to make sure that it was very understood that the Nakba wasn't something that just happened on May 15th and 48. It's something that's been happening and been almost exponential as you know through the 65 years. American activists and students join with several Palestinians to bring awareness of this day to the American public. It's a very emotional day for me because my father was seven years old at the time of the Nakba in, the, in 1948 and he was someone who, him and his family, lost their house the day of the Nakba and were forced uh, from Bisan, Palestine to Jenin into the West Bank and they became refugees and then uh, were never given the right to return back to their home in Jenin in uh, Bisan. So it's a part of you know my identity, it's a part of my family's struggle and it's something that has happened to my family. Um, and then to see it you know, kind of be denounced and denied by so many people is, is painful. And that's why I feel like I need to speak up and tell people, no, this happened, this happened to my father. Millions of Palestinians have been displaced in the past 65 years. Protesters stand here outside the White House as they do every year on the day of Nakba. But being here is more than just a matter of tradition. They say commemorating the displacement of Palestinians in front of the home of the President of the United States carries a deeper symbolism. The U.S. government's unchecked support for Israel is seen as contributing to the brutality against the Palestinian people. Our country needs to stop supporting Israel and giving them money so that they can have more weapons to kill these people. It's important that President Obama stops just giving a blanket uh, uh, um, check to Israel to do whatever they want in the world. It's, a wrong, it's wrong and it's wrong for the American people. Earlier this year, President Obama pledged a 10-year military aid package to Israel for an additional $40 billion, increasing the United States annual grant aid from $2.4 billion to $3.1 billion. Marjan Asi, Press TV, Washington.